day to you my friends, my name is Donato and welcome to today's latest video where I'll be talking to you, yes you guys, about one of the latest running devices, shall I say, that I've just recently bought. I think it's very useful. Yeah. <laughs> but before I go into that, now I've got your attention. If you are new here, please do consider subscribing. Clicking on the link down here it is free to subscribe and also giving this a thumbs up because apparently those two things really help my channel, apparently so. So it'd be great if you could do that. So thank you so much for your attention. Now let's get on to this new device. Speaking of new devices and new things, the last video was about the, uh, I nearly said Good Friday, and <laughs> the Black Friday. Yes, I'm wearing a bit of black. London Marathon, yeah, can't wait for April. But anyway, I digress. Did you get any good deals on the Black Friday? Yeah, I know Thomas, a lot of you and so on shared so many, oh, I didn't realize you all bought so many things around this time of the year and got some great deals. So thank you all for sharing. And if there are any continuous deals, leave them in the comments below. But yes, please do leave comments below. What amazing deals do you found? Because what I'm about to reveal to you, I've not gotten any deal. I've had this for a number of weeks because we're now coming into how can I put this? I was coming back from some of my trail runs whilst I'm now um, living in London. On a number of the, uh, in fact, probably all of my uh, runs are on the trails around here. I know London is a big city, but you can find trails, off-road stuff, and uh, mud. Yes, mud. It's really nice, but often coming back from those runs, my training shoes are soaking wet. And uh, I use the old tried and trusted way. I don't know if you know this way, but uh, here's a shoe, yeah, lovely. Um, notice it was white and it's gone a bit dark here, but obviously I don't use this on the trails. This is my um, road stuff, indoor stuff. But uh, what I'll do is on the inside here, I'll get some old newspapers and stuff them inside, yeah? Get them inside there and the paper would soak up the water and then I'd pull out the papers and they'd be nice and dry, ready for the following day. That's good if you've got uh, lots of newspapers, yeah? But that's a bit of waste of paper. So when I saw an advert for this particular device, and by the way, the device I'm about to show you, um, yeah, it's, it does look quite interesting, <laughs> um, but uh, I'm not paid by uh, this particular company. I'm not here to endorse it in any way. It's just something I've bought with my own money and I'm just gonna show you what it does and reviews. And you might wanna go and buy it yourself. I'll leave the link below to the uh, company. There's no discounts or anything like that. I'm not on any affiliate program. However, if you find this useful in any way and you wanna support this channel, there is a link below on the coffee.com slash Donato and you can make a donation to me. Yes, lovely me. Anyway, this device, what's it called? This is the picture. You might go, hello, hello, what kind of a, a device is this? Yeah, it's called a dry shore. Here's the pack, yes, there's two of them. Because we have two shoes. Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, I was so excited, I haven't even opened it yet. So I'm gonna open it with you guys here. So basically, how can I show you? Let me show you. Here, loud. Ooh, I might fast forward this, I don't know. Anyway. As I said, when you get this out, <laughs> I'm so sorry, I can't. <laughs> oh man, when you when you get this out, I mean, what what do you think it could be used for? Yeah, I know. My hair is just not long enough for this, is it? I mean, you can't really have, it's not a hair curler, is it? No, 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 it's not a hair curler, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, what were you thinking? Gosh, you guys, wash your brains out. Yes, it, I didn't, I thought it was maybe a, a hair curler, but no, my hair is not long enough for this. Um, but yes, so how does it work? Well, it's really simple, it's got a, things in here that are uh, crystals and so on, and essentially, in a nutshell, all you do is you insert it, like so, into the shoe. Yeah, so it's in the shoe. And what it does is it soaks all the dampness. You can see there it's reached the front, it soaks in all the dampness, leave it overnight. And then by the morning, it's soaked in all the dampness from the shoe into this device here. And it lasts for a certain number of times where it soaks in all the water, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it soaks in all the water and then after a period of time you can open the device and uh, take so it opens up 
Com C, Com Sa. So yes guys, when you've got it open, it opens out like this and inside is the... Uh, this has got all the granules, so there's the plastic casing. See that? There's the plastic casing. And here is the uh, crystals and so on that soaked it all in. And you basically just pop this on a radiator and let it dry out and then you can use it again. So you just put it back inside like this. Yeah. Oh, be gosh. There you go. And there it is, ready to go again to insert into the shoe. Jobs are good and yeah. Well, there you have it guys. Oh, and here's the other one. I hope you enjoyed the review of this thing. It's called the Dry Shoe. Advantages of the Baroni shell, as it says on here. Easy to insert, built to last, and it's incredibly hygienic. So there you have it. That's my quick review of this Dry Shoe device. And um, yeah, I'm, I think it's sure to be a hit. I'll let you know how I get on. If you think this would be useful for you, leave it in the comments below. And uh, yeah, leave some comments below and uh, let me know what you think. Have you seen anything like this? Have you got any hints and tips how you keep your shoes dry through the uh, wet um, autumn, winter months, spring months? Love to hear from you. Anyway, that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this in some way and found it useful and entertaining. I certainly found it entertaining. Meanwhile, I'm off to have another cup of tea. Ah. And if you haven't already done so, please do click on the link up there to subscribe and have a look over there on some of the runs that I've been doing. I may catch you later, guys. Bye-bye-bye.